This morning, I was woken up by a nice little surprise. Take a look at this. This is a female of the Poseidon Brasia Diroli. A species I've showed on my YouTube channel before, but this is the first time I'm showing you a female. And boy is she big. Big is an understatement. It's a giant. Poseidon Brasia Diroli is a moth with a very large range that occurs in uh, many parts of Africa. It's one of the biggest Saturnidae species that you can possibly find on the continent of Africa. Probably excluding the African moon moth, Argema metriae. Um, but that one's found on Madagascar, so that's cheating because that's not mainland Africa. I'm uploading this video just to show you the differences between males and females of this species. Because I've already uploaded a video of males that got a lot of views, unsurprisingly, because, well, it's a beautiful species. How can you not watch this? The main difference is females have transparent borders in their forewings, like here. These little windows here are actually transparent, even though it's difficult to see on camera because they're reflecting surfaces. And she's clumsy and about to fall. Oh, she's still hanging in there. She's so heavy that she has trouble clinging to my hand. I mean, she has to support all this big body weight. Now, I hope a male will pair with her. And even more interestingly, I've written a care sheet about this species. So if you ever re wish to breed the Pseudium Brasia de Rolai, check out the link in the description and in the comments because this is sharing my experience uh, in breeding them with you in case you ever manage to obtain pupa or eggs and want to see the entire life cycle in captivity it's amazing just look at that I can't get enough of this. Thank you all for watching. It's been a great start of the day. And soon I will have some videos about other cool species. I have some species coming from Mexico, including some rare Automere species, some uh, strange Cetheronia species, and, Ar and uh, Arsenurinae, silk moth from uh, the subfamily of Arsenurinae. Guess you gotta stay tuned. Until next time.